Hello everyone, today we are going to solve next three question from the year 2018. So what is the question number 4? New metaphors occur in option 1, halophytes, option 2, carnivorous plants, option 3, free floating hydrophytes, option 4, submerged hydrophytes. Let's see from the NCRT. So this will come under the chapter morphology of flowering plants. This is the chapter and in the page number, in the page number 67 you can see it is written new metaphors. So what it is written that in some plants such as rhizophora, Growing in swampy areas, many roots come out of the ground and grow vertically upwards. Such roots are called pneumatophores, help to get oxygen for respiration. So, where pneumatophores can be found? In the salty and swampy areas. Example is rhizophora. So, now let's see the options. Four options are there. Halophytes. Do you know the meaning of halophytes? Carnivorous plants, free floating hydrophytes and submerged hydrophytes. So, halophytes means the plants which are growing in salty areas. So, in your book, it is not mentioned that uh, about the halophytes but they have given the uh, criteria that the rhizophora is growing in that type of swampy areas so the answer will be halophytes so for that reason you have to know this type of basic terms of the plants uh, as i know that you have read all these terms in the practical also right so carnivorous plants you know free floating that means which are floating hydrophytes means hydro means water plants which are growing in water submerged means totally in, inside the water and hydrophytes you know so obviously these three are wrong answers right answer is halophytes now let's move to the say, question number five secondary xylem and phloem in dicot stem are produced by option one apical meristem option two phylogen option three vascular cambium and option three axillary meristems now let me show you what will be the answer so open the chapter anatomy of flowering plants and this is page number 94 and here you can find secondary growth so secondary growth means increase in girth right and this is related with the vascular cambium right so, what will be the answer? The answer will be vascular cambium. Now, let's move to the next one. Which of the following statements is correct? Option 1, ovules are not enclosed by ovary wall in gymnosperms. Option 2, horstels are gymnosperms. Option 3, selaginella is heterosporous while salvinia is homosporous. And option 4, stems are usually unbranched in both cycas and cetras. So, all the options are coming from the chapter plant kingdoms. So, let me open this chapter plant kingdom and let's see which one is the correct one. Now, let me show you the first one that is Mm, horse option number okay let's do from the last stems are usually unbrushed in both cycas and citrus let's see stems are so let me show you this portion is coming under the gymnosperm so what is written here stems are unbranched stems are unbranched in cycas but branched in pinus and citrus so option number four is wrong because here is written that unbrushed in both cycas and citrus so from this you are going to know that it is in unbranched form in cycas but in pinus and citrus it is in branch form so this one is wrong next one selaginella is heterosporous while salvinia is homosporous now let me show you that uh, selaginella right so genera like selaginella salvinia which produce two kinds of spores macro and micro so selaginella and salvinia both are heterosporous so this option is wrong why because here it is written that salvinia is homosporous so this one is also wrong now next one horse tails are gymnosperms so horse tails are from common name of Equisidum. So, equisidum is not coming under the gymnosperm. So, what are they? They are coming under the teridophytes. Now, let's move to the last row. This one is wrong. So, obviously, option 1 will be right. Let me show you how. Ovules are not enclosed by ovary wall in gymnosperm. It is the line coming from directly inserted. So, gymnosperms, ovules are not enclosed by any ovary wall and remain exposed. This line is written here. So, obviously, the answer is option 1. 